My first console ever was a PlayStation 1. I didn't have many games for it since I was so young, but I remember enjoying things such as Lilo and Stitch and Simba's Mighty Adventure. Since then, however, I've stuck to Nintendo. I got a Wii, a DS, a 3DS, a Wii U, and a Switch, all because I got so used to how Nintendo handled things. I think it's time that all changes. Hello everybody, Skylander Z on here. And today I'm unboxing PlayStation 5. First of all, this thing's heavy. <laughs> I, I did not expect it to be this heavy, but it's been a few years since I've done an unboxing, so it uh, might be a bit rusty. It's been like three years probably. Last one I remember doing was a Flare Wolf unboxing, but I had to have done one since then. I'm trying to just be as delicate with these stickers as possible because I do not want to damage this box. And just, I've still got my Switch box, so. Okay. First sticker off, and let's see. Oh, I opened it the wrong way. Let me flip this. This is. This is just unreal to me. <laughs> Like, I know so many people have been struggling to get this. Ah, uh, sorry about that awful noise. But the fact that I got it with very little trouble is honestly just surprising. Ah, uh, it's making awful noises. You know what, I've got to stand up for this. This, this is so huge. Here we go, here is a wire, you know. Yeah. The quick start guide, um, okay, that can barely be seen by the lighting, whatever, I'm still excited. And here is the first major thing, we have the one and only DualSense. Wow. It feels good. Like, okay, I heard that this is actually compatible with like switch for some weird reason without an adapter this is going to be my controller for smash i can say that much uh, this this feels so nice just yeah i like that okay let me put that right there oh those awful noises i'll have to probably edit that in post oh here is the base I, uh, this is still a huge base. Is that gonna fit where I have room? Hopefully. But, here is the base. See, you can just play it on right there. I think, probably, I don't actually know. HDMI, and I assume we need one more thing, and that's the console. And there it is. Wow, um, this is the heavy part of it, but it's in there. Also here. Hmm. What is the way that I can take this out? I don't know, um... I don't want to lift it by the security because I don't want to accidentally drop it, but that seems to be my only option. I don't like that option, um, hmm. can I lay this down slightly, maybe? Yeah, hopefully. I don't know, I'm sorry guys, this is just weird. I can say that much, it is weird. And please come out. Please, come on, don't get stuck in there. I have to use you somehow. There you go. And take these little box things off. And this one. And now I can probably go back to sitting down. Right. Yeah, this did not go at all as planned. But here, let's unwrap this. Beauty. And here you have it, guys. 
PlayStation 5. This feels right. And just, you see, you got that PlayStation logo, top left. Can't really think right now. But, but I will say, um, the disk drive does look a bit weird on this. The digital edition looks better, but at the same time, why would I get the digital version when I've got some physical discs? So, let's just show them off. We've got Skylander Swap Force, Skylander's Trap Team, Skylander's Superchargers, Skylander's Imaginators, and wow, bad lighting. There you go. Kingdom Hearts, and Crash 4. So these are just like my starting games, obviously. But you might be wondering, since I focus on one series on this channel being Skylanders, obviously, why am I unboxing a console? I've kept this to myself for long enough now, and I just want to say that recently I've been streaming on Twitch. I've been doing it in my free time, and in fact, in the first few days, I already reached affiliate. And it's just, it's been really fun making different types of content, and it's been fun interacting with community. So if you want to check me out on Twitch, after this video goes up, I'll actually be starting Crash 4. And, yeah, um, this just, this is nice. I'm finally at the point where I want to be with content creation, like, I've got my Elgato. I've got PS5 now. I've got the Skylanders channel running, and I'm just, I'm really happy overall, so I just want to say thank you everyone for your support. I really appreciate it. I know Twitch is still just starting out, I don't even think I said the name. The link is in the description, but if you just want to look it up, my channel name will be the Nerd Effect with, like, two underscores. But yeah, I will not be streaming Skylanders content on there, I should say. Th that's all for, like, variety stuff. This is where Skylanders happens. But speaking of Skylanders and PS5, I've got one more thing to say. I've noticed over the past few days that it's been difficult to find things like gameplay of Skylanders on Series X. So since I have a PlayStation 5, I want to be sure that you guys can access PS5 gameplay from, well, anywhere. So today I will be uploading four more videos today. One over each of the Skylanders games that I just mentioned. Just to like, test out how it works, see the loading times, see the graphical upgrades. And yeah, there will not be any commentary on those, they are purely for testing purposes. So, yeah, um, seems like I've got a console to set up, a stream to set up, so, peace out.